All right, let's go get in the mud. Oh, my dad said there'd be days like this. Ow. All right, we gotta get tape. Look at the problem. Uh, what this is, is this is a lint separator. It's a big tank there, and that's the outflow. And that's normally a clean out to look at it. And then our sewer line's right in here. Well, somewhere between there and there, it's clogged. And we got to tear it out because all this is wrong, the way they did this. So we're going to fix it all, pour concrete, make it nice. There's another clean out on this side, but it's covered in asphalt. We'll have to dig it out too. I'm thinking about digging right where the problem is to get it unclogged so we don't have to deal with all this water in the hole. You ready? I get the shovel, I gotta probe a little bit, make sure I'm not getting close to any water lines or anything. With all the sand, sand has to do with the fact they backfilled this tank. Let's see what I can tear up now. I wanna look and see where that water line is real quick. Should be a curb stop out here somewhere. No, nope, that's not it. in the phase of the job where I'm hearing funny noises when I'm scraping, so I'm finding pipes now. Now you've got to do a little bit of exploratory so we don't take out our water lines. See, this is that tank. That's a lid to the tank. The tank goes down to the ground, obviously. The pipe is right here, so I'm going to clean this off real quick and then delicately move some more shit. Yeah, that's, that's the lid to the tank, so it's not, that's what the problem is. I'm trying to expose, I'm trying to expose that pipe to open it up. So I'm going to clean this side out again. <laughs> that's not what I want to have happen. That is not what we want to have happen at all. Basically, the whole tank's going to empty. The whole tank's going to empty into that hole now, thank God. Now we won't be able to see what we're doing until we pump the hole out. We gotta get the water to stop first. I'm looking to see if the water's going down at all. Because that's a clean out pipe. Eventually it's going to flow under that break. As long as we don't get the clean out to clog, we'll be okay. I think it's going down slowly, so we're going to wait and see. Because I need to shovel around this. I shouldn't be hitting it with this excavator so hard. Because I could make it worse and plug the whole thing. Then we'd have to use that jettison tool I got. But see, it's going down. So we've opened it up. Now we get to get fucking really muddy. I need to expose that pipe without sending all the sand down there. All right, 
Dads, go get in the mud. Oh, my dad said there'd be days like this. Pipes right here, but there's fern coves, which is a cheap way to, and this was slid off too. That was the other problem. So we're trying to correct two problems. The clean out needs to be completely replaced and whatever's here plugging it up needs to be fixed. Oh, here's the fun part. Ow. All right, we gotta get tape. We just wanna get it to so where it empties out the whole time. Basically, this comes out and ties into it right here. That's where our problem is. Obviously, that's a problem. I'm trying to get it drained down where it's level with the pipe, and then we won't have to worry about it. We can measure up what we need and go get it. Clean up my hands so I don't die. See, they poured concrete to make an elbow, which was stupid. The nice thing is, once you open stuff up like this at your place, you finally know how it works. I thought this went straight on by. It doesn't. This is totally separate from the sewer. I mean, I knew the sewer was separate from the gray water, but I thought it ran alongside it. It must not tie in until over there somewhere. Um, now we got to wait for it to go down a little more and then we're going to figure out what we need for pipe. Figure out how to fix this now that we can see it. And I'll probably have to clean around this to get to it. So hopefully I won't f up everything I just did. See here we opened up a lazy river in our laundromat. What we're going to do now, now that we've exposed how bad it was, it was junk, it was junk cast iron. We're going to put new PVC in, we're going to tie it in there. We're going to put a good clean out right here in line with this one. And that should fix a lot of the problems we had. We're also going to try to make this curve a little better. So it's not such a sharp angle like before. What we got now is we got all our parts and pieces. We need to put our fern coats at both ends, put a new PVC pipe, put our T in, put the elbow in, have that done. Then we got to redo this clean out here, this fern coats junk, replace that and put a new stack on. Then backfill it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the small part first. So we need like seven inches. Well, at least they did a half-ass job at that too. Let's get that out of our way. Just put that there for now. There we go. Get that out of the hole. Get our new one on. We'll start with that first. They did all that to try to hold on to it later. Now we will have to put some rock underneath this to support the pipe so it doesn't sag on us. We're gonna put this over here out of our way. Put this here. We're gonna do seven inches. I guess I can show you what it looks like on the inside. And then that way that, hopefully, if you had a grease, it wouldn't let the grease flow in it. All right, I'm gonna fill it in and... Well, now the fun part is we got to mix up some concrete to put around that old pipe and new pipe just to be 100% for sure it's not going to have any issues. So it's like what we call a slug. So that's what I'm working on now. This should go pretty easy. Let's mix that up with a little water. That's good for a start. Throw that in the hole and then come back for some more. We're just going around that collar and then trying to get it so it hardens up quick so that we don't have to worry about the water ever sucking sand through some of the holes because the pipe we keep chasing the pipe back and we'll be here forever and so we've got as good a connection as we can get but that's what we're up to so we're just trying to build what they call a collar
Well, that was fun. We got that all fixed. Now we need to fix up the parking lot and add the concrete, but at least it's draining, the pipes are working. Hopefully we don't have another leak. Hope you found this enjoyable, but thanks for watching. I always appreciate it.